Let's build another Kevin Davey Strategy Factory Club strategy together this month. I'm going to start with two bits of good news. The first thing is that a lot of you really liked the last video that I put together, the August 2025 Strategy Factory Strategy Build. I got lots of positive feedback, lots of good comments. A lot of you said it was your favorite video that I've ever put together, so I'm happy to continue to do these. The second bit of good news is that the strategy that I submitted to the February 2025 club, so just six months ago, it passed. So Kevin just sent me this email a few days ago. Congrats, you passed. This was the strategy that I submitted. I submitted an at US, so a long bond strategy. That strategy made $4,100 in pay for paper profits. It passed the threshold that it needed to pass to win that month's bounties. I mentioned last time that I had 85 months of Kevin Davey Strategy Factory Club packages. I now have 88 months of Kevin Davey Strategy Factory Club packages. There is no one on the planet besides Kevin Davey who has more Kevin Davey months than I do. So the process that we're going to walk through today works. It builds strategies that perform in real time. Now, what are we going to build this month? This month, we're gonna submit a strategy for September of 2025. So we are going to be building a metals strategy. Kevin wants us to submit a strategy for the metals futures market. Now, you might remember that last month, because we were building an interest rate strategy, we took one of Kevin's packages from a month where interest rates were the bounty. So students were submitting a lot of interest rate strategies. We looked through all those interest rate strategies and we picked a good one where that could be a chassis. That code could be a chassis for a good strategy that we built, a good foundation. Now, because we're building a metals strategy and Peak Trading Research, the company where I am head of research and peakalgo.com where we vend strategies to people interested in real-time systematic trading strategies. We focus on commodities. We have lots of metals strategies. So I opened up a package from just two months ago from June, 2025. And I saw that we have uh, four different metal strategies. We had Empire on Platinum, Revolution on Silver, Namib on gold and another strategy on gold, the Cardiff strategy. So what we're going to do is look in TradeStation at those strategies and see if any of those would be a good foundation where we can build a strategy factory club strategy for the metals market and submit it to Kevin's club for September 2025. So let's jump into to TradeStation, the TradeStation trading platform. And I have brought up those four strategies from June of 2025. There they are, Empire, Revolution, Namib, and Cardiff. Let's look at the strategy performance report for Empire, nice equity curve, 3.49 profit factor, pretty evenly split on both sides. That's a good strategy. Revolution on silver, huge profit factor, 4.6. <laughs> Crazy, really, really good uh, equity curve. Wow, very nice equity curve. Uh, Namib on gold, little bit of a flat period here, tons of trades almost 900 trades. You can see on the chart, this, this system is in and out of the market all the time, which I don't always have the best of luck with. And Cardiff, uh, fantastic equity curve, beautiful equity curve. It's nice to see all of these equity curves also making new equity highs after June of 2025, uh, when we included these in that June 2025 package. So whoever was trading Cardiff or, uh, or revolution is certainly very happy. I think Empire is making new equity curve highs. Yeah. Uh, the only thing I hesitate, Rev revolution looks crazy. This looks almost too good. Uh, the reason I say too good is let's jump back to Kevin's pass email. 
you can see here that to win Kevin's club, you have to basically continue to match historical performance. So if your strategy is too good, if it's too optimized, you have a perfect equity curve, Kevin's going to say, all right, you have to make, what is it, 1,700 over 1,100. You have to make, I think, 50% above the average of the past few years, past 10 years, something like that. Uh, so you have to basically make a threshold. So if your strategy is too good uh, and you think it may not perform as well in real time, uh, you, you probably don't want to submit that to the club. So let's jump back to uh, Empire here. I like this one because it's kind of a multi-week swing strategy. It's done a good job of catching these bigger moves. I usually look for something with a profit factor of a little bit above two to maybe three and a half. This is at the upper end of that. Uh, it's been working well in real time. And this strategy is short platinum today, which looking at this chart, you know, you can assume this strategy probably holds positions here. It caught this nice big move. Uh, it holds positions for what, two months? So we might come into September still short platinum, which at these levels does not look like uh, too bad of a bet. So let's, uh, let's take a look. Let's jump into our empire strategy and see what we're working with here. Uh, pretty straightforward. Just a few lines of code. Whoever built this, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. Uh, whoever built this added some nice comments for us. That's fantastic. There we go. Let's just bring this down to a few lines of code. I always like to clean this up. I'm not a, I'm not a coder at heart, so I, uh, I don't mind putting this all in one line. Uh, so pretty straightforward here. This is just a few lines of code. Let's clean this up. And you'll remember last time that we had to clean up. Uh, if we're dealing with a Kevin Davy strategy, there's always going to be walk forward code at the beginning. Uh, here we don't have that. So this is actually already a, uh, a very clean strategy for us to work with. Let's now begin the process of putting this strategy into multi-walk. That is the tool that Kevin asks his students to use to submit strategies to his club. So we are going to open up multi-walk. I have copied the strategy. Let's go to settings, paste in our strategy. I'm just simply going to take fast average X and paste it in here. Am I not able to pay? Yeah, I thought I could paste. There we go. I'm going to just keep this super tight. I'm going to keep this in a range from 18 to 22 X one. So five total optimization parameters. I'm going to save this to my desktop. There we go. So I can remember what I optimized later for my settings. I'm going to go to symbols. And now remember, I already know that this is going to be a at PL strategy. I know that we're going to do 1440 minute bars. So I don't really need to mess around with a whole bunch of other uh, symbols. Let's go down to, I'm looking through my notes right now to remember where my, there we go, my strategy settings. There we go, my walk forward. Remember, I'm gonna make these really, really wide. I'm gonna remind you guys why that is. Remember, you saw at the beginning when I had won that strategy from Kevin's Club, my next optimization date was way out in 2027. So I'm going to be setting some really wide uh, walk forward in and out periods here. End date, that's fine. Let's go down to create multi-walk strategy. There's my code. I'm going to grab that. I'm going to go back into, e into easy language, save this as the M version, there we go, 
paste that all in, confirm it. Now I will have M empire. So let's A empire. And at that point, I simply go back to my operations, disable and run the project. All right, our multi-walk analysis is complete. So let's look at reports. I'm going to jump in right here, open up the code for three year, three year. That's almost always the report that I start with. So a three year, three year in and out period. And you guys know what I'm gonna be looking for. The one magic number next optimization date is in December of 2027. Now, the reason I do this is I do not want Kevin sending me an email in the next two months or three months or four months saying, Dave, you owe me an optimization. You owe me new parameters, uh, in which case I would have to find out, am I using a fast length of 19 or 22 or 20, like the walk forward code here? I don't wanna get that email from him ever. So I simply use a walk forward next optimization date that is way in the future. So that is the code that I am going to grab and then put back into TradeStation. I now take this walk forward version code from MultiWalk that has all of these walk forward dates in here, jump back into easy language. I'm going to save this as my D version. I'm gonna note that I use three year, three year, paste it all in, confirm it. And then we're gonna jump back into our empire chart. We are going to swap out the simple A version of this code. So the simple peak 10 version of this code that we've been working with. And we are going to add our new D and we need to find our empire code in here. There it is. There is our D A empire code. We remove the old strategy i'm going to still check that the properties are correct there we go we still have slippage and commission like kevin wants and we are going to add our new d version code basically our walk forward version of the code to this chart so instead of just using this simple code that was just four or five lines of code this is now the more complicated version with those walk forward parameters still has a good profit factor 2.48 Long trades 1.99, short trades 3.31. Let's look at the performance graph. Choppy, right? More choppy than it was before. So I still like that this strategy looks like it had it's had some good trades recently. It's still short, but it definitely doesn't have the same long-term performance that the simple version did. Now, the performance summary still has a profit factor of 2.48. We're going to have to see here, keep our fingers crossed, that it passes Kevin's Monte Carlo process, the Monte Carlo spreadsheet, which I'll now open up. So I now go and I save this strategy performance report. I simply save it as an Excel file to my desktop. I've already done that, loaded it into Kevin's Monte Carlo analysis spreadsheet. Now this is the moment of truth. We knew that this, this was gonna be an okay strategy, the walk forward version when we added it to our chart, but this is really the make or break step. If this does not exceed a risk, uh, a return to drawdown, if this doesn't get above two, I cannot submit this to Kevin's club. I know this is gonna be pretty close because that profit factor was what, 2.4. So let's see in real time here if this has what it takes to pass Kevin's club, if we're gonna be above two or not. So far, so good. We're gonna get down towards 20%, risk of ruin, 
12% good. This is going to be fine. This is going to be just fine. So I was a little bit concerned because that equity curve deteriorated a bit with our walk forward process is using a three year, three year uh, in and out ideal for building great strategies. Probably not. Does it save me from having to reoptimize and get an email from Kevin and have to rerun all this? Yes. So that's why I do it, but you can tell it, it, it definitely caused the strategy to underperform versus the original equity curve. So I'm not going to save this and a 6.99 Calmar. We are good. This is now a strategy that we can submit to Kevin's club. All right, I have now filled out the worksheet that Kevin requires for the entry into the club. There's my details. It's a platinum strategy, 1440 minute bar chart, three year, three year, next optimization date, way out in 2027. And there are the details which I took from MultiWalk. These are the, I think this is how Kevin comes up with the threshold above which the strategy has to perform to pass the club. So I have put those into the body of this email along with the ELD file and the workspace. I also need to, before I forget, I need to grab the equity curve. There we go. Paste that in there. I need to grab the Kalmar ratio. I can just drag that in there so Kevin can see it. And I need to write Whitcomb SF Club and say, hi, Kevin, here's my SEP strategy. Thank you as always for hosting this wonderful club best. Dave. There we go. Start to finish. Good Calmar ratio. Not as good as the US strategy that we submitted last time. Equity curve looks good. I think this will work well in, in real time. This has a pretty good uptrend recently. We're short platinum futures today, which given we're at historic highs, I think that's a pretty good bet coming into September. There's my work. There's my Word document. There's my ELD file and my trade station workspace and there we go we have submitted that strategy to kevin's club so let me know in the comments below what do you think of this process what do you think of this strategy if you have any questions let me know i'll do my best to answer them good luck building your own strategies and we'll see you soon